What's up guys? So today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I bought a Amazon crossbow. Uh, it was about $100, uh, so it's real cheap. Uh, I've got a ton of like household type items and we're gonna see exactly uh, how powerful uh, it really is. So I've got my buddy Sam here. Uh, come on, Sam. Uh, he's got the crossbow we're gonna be using. Like I said, I'm gonna put the link in the description of the crossbow that we actually bought. Uh, I wanted something cheap because uh, we got a little bit of land here uh, in my backyard, so I'm gonna be trying to deer hunt this year. Um, with it, but I don't want to spend a lot of money and my bow uh, that I normally use is in storage So I picked up this thing uh, So uh, in just a few minutes, we're gonna get this thing sighted in and then uh, we'll start shooting some shit My eyes are up here guys. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna be shooting these watermelons first uh, We're gonna set them up downrange and then uh, see what happens when we blast them Ooh. Just went right through it All right, so you can see it went in right here. Well, it's leaking just a little bit. It went in right where the uh, where the wrapper was. Exit wound, ooh, nice, perfect exit wound. And did it go in that tree? It might have went in this tree. Nope, we're good. All right, so we're going for two watermelons in a row. Nice. Nice. All right, so it looks like he hit the edge here. It went straight in, came out here, went through there, and then came out here. And I think it clipped the side of this wood, and then it's uh, it's right there. So watermelon, not too exciting. Uh, we're gonna go on to the uh, the next item. All right, next up on the list uh, are these two liters. We're gonna start with one, and then we might try to shoot two. I'm gonna shake it up real good, get it set up on the target, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll let one fly. Oh God! <laughs> that was cool. All right, so that was awesome. Now we're gonna go for two. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> all right, so the first bottle went all the way over here. The second one landed right behind it and just annihilated it, so. Next on the list, I'm a little worried about this one. Um, I'm still kind of debating if we're gonna shoot it or not. It's it's a bottle of sunscreen. It's like uh, like aluminum or something, I don't know. I just don't want it to shoot shrapnel or anything, so I'm probably gonna step back a little bit further, um, but I'm gonna keep the camera here, and uh, I don't know. I, I really wanna shoot it because I want you guys to be able to see it, so uh, let's, uh, let's knock it out. I'm not gonna lie, that one was really scary. Um, check out the bottle. It just, I don't think it, did it like annihilated the front? I don't even see where it came out though. It might have just nicked it and then ricocheted it off. I don't know. Smells like the, uh, smells like the beach. All right, next on the list is this printer paper. This is a thick, you hear that? This is a lot of paper. Uh, my boy Sam here is gonna take a shot at this. We're not sure if it's gonna ricochet, if it's gonna go in. We're using field uh, point tips now. Uh, if that doesn't work, then we're gonna put the sharp broadheads on there. So we'll try this first. Oh God! Damn. Oh God! All right, so we barely penetrated the paper with the field tips. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna try it with the broadheads now and see if that makes a difference. Pretty good. Ooh. That was pretty good. We definitely got better penetration. Oh, well, actually, no, we didn't. Okay, so it's still just a broadhead. It's not strong enough to go through that. I'm wondering if the plastic has anything to do with it. No. Yeah, that's in there good. I'm just going to take this off. All right, well. That's pretty much, that's pretty much how it's gonna roll. All right, so the paper wasn't that exciting. Um, next on the list, these four cans of chicken broth. I think that it's gonna probably go through three, um, but we're gonna try to make it go through all four because I think that'd be a cool shot. So um, without further ado, 
Let's shoot some uh, chicken broth. Oh, well, I was wrong. It went through. It went through all four. Look at this. <laughs> Dang, I think it smells so bad. Uh, next on the list is this toaster. Um, this is a pretty cheap toaster. I got it uh, on sale at Kroger. It was like on clearance because the box is messed up. So we're gonna set this up and, uh, and Sam's gonna sling one down and see if we can get it to go straight through this thing. So we'll see how it goes. It's plastic on the outside and it's, uh, it's of course got metal on the inside just like a normal toaster, but the outside is plastic. So I think it's gonna go right through this. So we'll see. So it went straight through. Oh, you know what? You actually, he actually missed, he missed the, uh, the metal part because it slid off the edge and bent that. We're gonna shoot it again and try to aim for the middle and see if we can get it to go through all the uh, all the metal in here. So, oh, that freaking drilled it! Look at this. It literally went straight through the metal and everything in there. So last on the list um, is something that again it's another one that I'm like, uh, maybe we're too close for, uh, but it's uh, it's Tannerite. I don't even know if Tannerite will go off uh, with a crossbow. Um, cause normally you shoot it with like rimfire, like high velocity bullet, but, um, I'm going to load this stuff up, get it mixed together and then, uh, mix it, shake it, shoot it. See if we can get a, uh, a big boom. So, all right. So the arrow didn't work. It just went right through it. Okay. So we're done shooting stuff. A lot of fun. Um, uh, that crossbow I think would be fine for, for hunting or shooting. Um, you know, within like 40, maybe like 40, 45 yards. Um, uh, it's going to kill a deer. Um, as far as power and stuff goes, it's, it's, I mean, it's on the low end of the market. So if you're going to buy this bow for like long term or like, like professional, like bow hunting or anything or crossbow hunting, um, I'm going to say no, but on a budget, it's a great, great crossbow. It's going to get the job done. Um, it is somewhat cheap filling, um, to an extent, but like I said, it'll get the job done. All right guys, so I know it was kind of confusing a little bit at the end there. Um, it was super hot and we were trying to knock out filming and finish up because we've been out there all day. But um, the arrow did obviously did not work when we were shooting the, um, the Tannerite. It just went straight through and stuck. Um, we actually tried again like multiple times after that and it just it's just not going fast enough. That bow is not strong enough. Um, as I was saying, I'm going to put the bow, um, the link to it on Amazon in the description if you guys wanted to try it. It's an excellent beginner bow, awesome for uh, you know first time bow hunters or crossbow users, um, elderly people that, that can't hold as much. Um, it's a good bow. Um, it's just, it's like I said, it's a little on the less powerful side, um, hence the reason it didn't make the Tannerite go off or you know penetrate some of the other things. So that's all for today. Um, stay tuned, we got a lot of stuff working. I'm still working on Lawson's vlog. Um, stay tuned for that, uh, and then hopefully we can keep cranking out videos. So until then, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.